Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead Candy Roth. Uh, Before we get to some of this National uh, Day stuff and some good news I want to share with you on the uh, good news story front, a couple of interesting tidbits I was reading about, Candy. The first is, and I don't know, this just kind of came up. I was looking at some articles today, and then, you know, I guess based on what you're reading, other things come up. Do you know that a, a Social Security number cannot start with the numbers 666. Oh, I did not know that. Yes, they outlawed that. They said no social security number will ever start with 666. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? Okay. It's interesting, yes. Yeah, I mean, it's along the lines of how, like, hotels won't, you know, some hotels don't Go to have the a... the 13th floor. That's right. They don't have a I floor know. 13. It's uh, very, very interesting. Um, and then uh, this other one, as I was looking at some of the uh, sports news today that we... Uh, have been discussing a lot of a lot of big stuff there. Um, do you know uh, the top fourteen stadiums in America, football stadiums with capacity, are college football stadiums? That's not the shocking thing. That's to be expected. Number fifteen for biggest football stadium to hold the most amount of people in the country is uh, MetLife Stadium, Candy. I didn't realize that. Yes, it holds more uh, than any other NFL stadium. I, I could. I. How is it not Dallas? How is that not a? Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I've actually been to MetLife Stadium. I didn't realize this is the biggest it gets. Yeah, I thought uh, Jerry's World there in Dallas, but what what I was reading is that uh, no, that MetLife, uh, that Dallas, the that might count as part of the uh, football stadium list because a lot of college teams play their football in their candy. But anyway, I don't know. It uh, it was interesting. I thought that yeah. was an interesting tidbit. MetLife Stadium, uh, one of the biggest in the world. Uh, candy, today is National Barbie Day. Did you have Barbies of growing course. up? Of course. I wish I would have taken Medicare and saved them because it would have given me some money now to sell them. But, uh, no, of course I did. Of course yeah, they did. I, love I mean, Barbies. if we knew uh, then what we know now, we would have kept them in the box, right? Kept them in the box, absolutely. Uh, today is National Get Over It Day. This is this is the day that I need. I need to get over it. Mm. I need to get over a few things. Just let it go, Katie. I've got to let it go. Today is the day. Today is National Registered Dietitian Nutritionist Day. Well. Thank heaven for them. Yes. Giving us all the good stuff to eat. Yes, when we listen to them, of course. When we listen. Uh, Today is National Meatball Day. Hey, should be a big celebration in your house. Oh, my goodness. Let me tell you something. She makes the best. You I know really that. have to. I'm really going to have to try those meatballs because I've been hearing about them now for a long time. Yeah. When did she first make them for you? Uh Oh, my God. We go way back. We. I mean, I Was don't know. Is this when you were dating? Um, I don't know if she made the meatballs while dating. I'm going to make her the meatballs and seal the deal. Yeah, I don't know about that. But she, I wonder. Uh, I yeah. wonder. Best meatballs you've ever remember had. Remember when she used to write little love notes and make your lunch? I remember the love notes, yes. You thought that was going to go on forever. I remember the love notes and the <laughs> lunch. Get over it. Uh, Candy, today is National Crab Meat Day. You know, we had crab cakes, uh, when was it, Sunday or Saturday, I think. They were mm. really good. Yeah. I love crab meat, crab cakes, crab mm-hmm. uh, imitation crab, crab meat, whatever. Everything. <laughs> Just if it's got crab in the name, I want it. Oh, my God. Absolutely. Um, did you see the story about the women in Poland leaving the baby strollers on the train platform? You no. see? Okay. Women in Poland are doing that. They're leaving baby strollers on the train platform so mothers who are fleeing the Ukraine oh. can use them when they show up with their children. Gives me chills. And I'm complaining about really nothing. Oh, I have such nerve. Incredible. Mm, that just gave me chills. A guy in Texas, Eric Mercado, in the military for 27 years. He owns a business that sells camouflage clothing. He is donating camo hoodies to the people in Ukraine to help them Very out. nice, yes. A 99-year-old World War II vet, Sam Baker, is proving you're never too old to try something new. He decided to write children's books. Oh, I like that. He has two of them out. His latest is called Oscar the Mouse, 
And he's got a third book coming out later this year, Candy. See, you're never too old. Yes. Uh, This is starting to be a trend. Another cop in Florida went the extra mile. He delivered someone's food to them after their DoorDash yes, driver got arrested. this is a trend. I feel like ordering food. <laughs> but See the, if a cop shows up. The problem is these DoorDash drivers keep getting arrested. What's going on a there? A scary, right? I don't know that I'd trust the food at that point. I'm you not sure. Make a good point. And a Florida Highway Patrol officer, Tony Shuck, is being called a hero. She sacrificed her own safety on Sunday. And saved a lot of lives. A drunk driver was heading straight toward a bridge that was shut down for a 10K race. Mm. Right? So the bridge is shut down. Military families are running a charity 10K race. Thousands of people on the bridge. So Tony, uh, she's a woman, the Florida Highway Patrol, intentionally let the car hit her head on. And her dash cam got it on video. Oh, my goodness. She was seriously hurt. She is recovering. Mm. The drunk driver was arrested, faces multiple charges. Candy, that is what you call a hero right there. That's a hero, yes. And that's that taking one for the team, yeah. I hope they throw that guy in jail and throw away the key. You know, and we need people like that out on the street as far, you know, like the, the cop. We need cops yes. like that on the street. But I think you do something like that. You that you fast forward. You get your full pension. You go lay down, and you're good. You go lay uh, down. You, that's it. You can retire if you want. We'll give you the twenty years, whatever it is, Candy. Yeah. That's incre- That's it's incredible. That's incredible. incredible. Could we every police officer do that? I don't know. I don't know. That's really some food for thought. Unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, saved a lot of lives. Thousands <laughs> of people <laughs> on that bridge. Wow. Uh, I want you to have a great rest of your day. I'm going to try since it's let it go day or let it flow, let it roll off here. What is what's yeah. today? Yeah, let it. Uh, the uh, uh, um, <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not, it's not let it go day. Oh, national get over it day. Get over get it. O- I'm gonna get over it today. And I'm gonna give you a little uh, tip. Uh, you did mention without giving details. You and Brian had a little little squabble last night. Um, the weather is not going to be good today, so I think the two of you are stuck together. At home. <laughs> so just go take it easy, all right? I'm going, I'm going to take it easy and get over it. Just bring Tilly into the mix. You'll be all good. All I right? know. She's always a ray of sunshine. All right. We got a lot of rain and sleet and wetness throughout the day. Going and coming. Both commutes. Uh, be careful. High of 37. Country 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country 96.1.